All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is a two-part video, really. Two-part meaning it's also, it's about the iPhone 4 that I just got, and this is a demo of my first video shot with it. Um, how it's going to come out, I have no clue, so please go easy on me. But what this is also about is my new camp-in trailer that I purchased. I wanted something where I could get off with my family and uh, take off someplace where they could stay and hang out while daddy goes and mountain bikes a little bit. And uh, this is a 560 Ultra uh, Raindrop made by Camp-In. Fantastic. All made by hand, aluminum. And I'm going to give you a little walk around real quick. Um, I'll start right off. we got the propane tank right here. It's got electric brakes. Got yourself an outside storage area. Got access on both sides. Um, it's a... Uh, Five feet wide and about, I think, 12 feet long. And a lot of people are like, what is this thing? Do you sleep in it? What do you do? Why didn't you buy a normal camper? Well, there's many reasons why. It's built beautifully. It's built by hand, so every little nook and cranny feels good. Um, it weighs only 1,400 pounds. All right? Um, it's not a pop-up camper, so when you're traveling from A to B... This is your storage. You got yourself a utility trailer, so when you're going antiquing, uh, which my wife and I like to do, you can pick up some something and throw your whatever you bought in here, whether it's a chair, a little table, or whatever. And you can bring it to your destination, get, get it on home. Pop-ups, you can't do that. Maybe you could strap it to the outside, but um, it's something I wanted to think about. A fifth wheel trailer, I looked at those. Um, the gas mileage, it would kill my Jeep, and they're a little too heavy for my Jeep. Um, this is really aerodynamic, shouldn't cost me nothing. I got the sunroof open on it, and also the fantastic fan, which is a, uh, it, it turns on and off with the temperature. You can set it for hot, cool, or whatever. Really fills this thing up with air. It's made for a large motorhome, so you can just imagine in this area, it definitely goes good. Got yourself a queen-size sleeping area right here. And then the back over here, I have it in bench mode, but uh, bench mode, and then you also have a sofa where that the back right there, that back right there would actually go up and turn into a beautiful sofa. Or even cooler yet, it turns into bunk beds. You can see that little metal tab right there? Bam. Little metal tab there, you take that lower section right there, and it's got a bunk bed. So you got two bunk beds for people that are under five feet tall, which would be your children. Beautiful birch wood interior. Um, all the plywood is beautiful. It's all stained inside and out. It's all stained inside and out, and then they put the aluminum cover on it also. So this thing's built to last a lifetime. Very impressed with it. Hopefully this doesn't get blurry on us. We got ourselves a DVD player color. Uh, due to copyright, I'm not going to turn on the video I have in there. Just to say at least it's for my daughter. She is. That is your on and off switch for your TV. I mean, you turn off your TV like normal. You have a remote control, all that stuff. But this is to isolate it so you don't run your battery all night. You have shelves, little cup holders, little desk area. You got one on each side. And then what's really cool about the older model or the the less fancy model at this company is you have a huge duffel bag storage, which is really cool. I'm gonna turn off this TV. And really cool uh, to put your backpack or whatever. So it gives you that storage. So I, I can have my backpack on this side, my wife could have hers on that side, and we can get dressed and all that stuff. And whoever stays in the bunk beds, has their own little storage area also. Real cool. Check it out. Got yourself a little plug in there. And those just close up. Now a lot of people say, well, if you're camping, you really don't want all these bright lights. Well, exactly. So what you can do is, uh, sorry if I'm 
Oh, these dim also. Your lights dim. So we can turn off these lights in here, right? I'm gonna have to replace that light bulb. That light bulb's about to. These are halogen light bulbs, so they are really bright. And look at this. Red. How cool is that? So you have a red light, so it saves your your night vision and it protects uh, from getting the bugs all in here. Everything locks up nice and tight too. Look at this, it's beautiful. It's got a nice little rubber stopper there, which is really cool. Look at this. Bam. So you can keep these open. You also have screens. So you can put screens here. Well, I do have screens. And you can leave the doors open if you want more ventilation. So as you can see, you can really have an outdoor experience if you want. You have a door on each side. Open rod right up and have your screens. Oh, you got a little porch light up here on both sides. Got yourself a little switch. That illuminates everything nicely. Uh, it's also a running light. But check this out. Look how nicely this closes up. Bam. Nice and tight. Built for a lifetime. So you have a sleeping area, right? Got a nice comfortable place to sleep. Got a place to carry your antiques or whatever you're doing on your trip. Your souvenirs. And it doesn't really cost you very much to tow this thing. Now what do you need? Well, you need to be able to cook, right? So you come to the back. And check it out. You got yourself a kitchen. A full kitchen at that. You got an eight gallon water tank. I think it's eight gallons. Don't quote me on that. And then eight gallon gray water so you're not spilling it all over the place. And that gets turned on right here. You turn this on once the pump, the pump gets turned on, it pressurizes the system and then it shuts off. So it doesn't make that noise the whole time. And you just run it like a normal faucet. And it's a pump. Of course they have an upgraded sink now. This is the older model, but um, the newer, the newer models, this one is four years old, the newer models do have certain things. Of course, I didn't pay brand new price for this, but newer models are definitely better equipped than this one. They got like a nice splash deal here and all that, but this is beautiful wood. Look at that. All gorgeous wood. Got yourself a silverware compartment. That's awesome. Got a little area right here. Keep your stuff. Big storage areas. Big storage areas. And look at this. Look at this little tab. Everything's made so nice. It's built to last. Got yourself a place to put your skillet, maybe your dishes. That's deep, too. I mean, that's all the way up to my shoulder. That is a deep, deep storage area. You also have another one over here for more, maybe your food. I also have a matching stainless steel cooler, which is cool, and then a fold-up table. This table is a nice size, folds up, it's all beautifully made, all wood, look at that little spring there, and it snaps into place right here on the back. So this whole section right here has a, like a table, you could, it's a, maybe a table for two, or just a place to stack your dishes and have a cooking area and you'd eat on the picnic table with your family. Uh, you got your electrical outlet below your tail light, and right now we're running off the battery, which is kind of nifty. All birch wood interior also here, and check this out. Man, it's going to attract bugs, right? You can go red on this one too. And look at this. All in tracks, just slides right on out. Got yourself a cast iron stove this bad boy really blows some fire i mean you can see that this thing is built um you got an area to boil your stuff and then a frying pan area so you got extra room for your frying pan when you're finished you just rub it on back and then this is a camper so you do have hookups you have your fresh water um intake you have your uh, hose you can connect the hose it's pressurized by the pump and you can maybe have a fish cleaning station or a hose off your kid whatever all right you got your uh, um, 
propane hookup so you can hook up your propane and have yourself an external barbecue and then you also have a I am not too sure what that is this is a brand new unit sorry but it's uh, something sorry about the finger there so all this is custom built look at that you just close it up whoops and lock it up beautiful nice and slick things built for a lifetime look at that stainless steel Wheel guards. Oh, look at that. What is that? That is where your antenna goes. Plug in your antenna or your cable. A lot of these new uh, places ha have cable, have internet, whatever. Connect it here. It goes straight to your TV set. Um, my TV has an antenna, so I just plug in the antenna like you would at your home. And it goes right here in this little slot right here. Bam, you have an antenna. So you can watch your local news or whatever. Um, all that goes down and just goes nice and flush. You have running lights in the back, on the top, and the side. Thing looks beautiful running. The new models do have LEDs, LED lights, uses less power. And uh, remind you, this is four years old. Um, I got serial number 150. 55 and they're all serialized these will be collector's items guarantee it and I want to tell you what's really neat about this and I know this video is getting really long so if you're not if, if this ain't your cup of tea you're, you're free to shut it off but I want to tell you why I'm doing this video also is I looked for a video on camping trailers and I couldn't find nothing I really wanted somebody to take a look at it and and show us show me what it looked like what their impressions were this thing is built beautifully I mean I have a Honda <laughs> and that thing's built beautifully there is nothing on this trailer that makes me feel uncomfortable something like man they could have done that better this is awesome oh and you also have if you look here and the thing comes with this green mattress which is I mean it's got this nice cover on it it's and it's built to last also. The, that mattress will last you a lifetime. But if you also look underneath there, you have storage areas. Plus a spare tire area. You got them all. You got four of those. And they're deep wells that go all the way underneath the trailer. And look at that. You got a little skid plate down there. You got some nice clearance. You got yourself heavy duty leveling jacks. Not the little ones that jack up your car. I mean, these, these bad boys... I, I, you can jack these tires right off the deck, so you don't have to be sitting on your tires. Very impressed with it. And when you close up those curtains on the interior, it gets pitch dark. I just did it the other day ago on the, in the driveway. Pitch dark on the inside. And you got yourself an inch, inch and a half of, of uh, insulation on the roof. So it blocks out that sun. You also have some insulation in some key areas also. To block out that sun and block out that heat so so you're not frying yourself if you are in the sun and I put this on the back of my Jeep as you can see I got the mud flaps because my Jeep does kick up some rocks these are rock tamers beauties and I put this on the back of my Jeep and it lowered the back of my Jeep by an inch and a half so to say the least the tongue weight on this thing isn't really much of nothing. I can almost pick it up by myself. Granted, I do lift weights, but I can pick this up off the deck. I can also wheel this around by myself with no problem at all. I park it by hand and it pushes by hand. So that's about it. Hope you guys got a good look at this thing. It is beautiful. I really like it. I worked really hard. I've I've been saving for a camper for about 15 years. Um, so, please don't hate. I, uh, I save my money all the time for the toys I have. I don't really buy much of anything except for toys and presents for my wife. And, um, we don't really go out to eat and make sacrifices like that. But when you make sacrifices like that, you can purchase yourself things like this where you can go out with the family and barbecue and do things like that which are cheaper than going out to maybe out back or something like that so that's just my philosophy some people like to go out to eat and 
spend money in, in other ways, but this is the way I like to spend it, and I'm going to really look forward to spending time with my family and going on a little trip. So, sorry about my attire. These are my pajamas. Cool. And this is the first video with my iPhone and uh, of my new camper. Y'all take it easy. Thank you very much for watching.